So today I would like to speak about uh, Rosevich induction and uh, Teichmuller flow. Uh, so uh, I start uh, explaining. Okay, so uh, my goal is uh, to explain uh, renormalization for translation surfaces and uh, for interval exchange transformations. Uh, and uh, uh, so, as I explained uh, to you uh, yesterday, uh, there is uh, the dilatation and contraction uh, flow, which is the the geodesic flow, type or, or also called Teichmuller flow, which is something li like that. But I, I want uh, to define a combinatorial way to do it, <coughs> which is called the Rosevich induction. And first, uh, I'm going to define it for um, interval exchange transformations, uh, and that's uh, the Rosy induction. And after that, I will explain uh, what happens for uh, tr uh, translation surfaces, and that's uh, the which part of the of the work. Uh, and I will present uh, the version which is in uh, due to Marmi, Musa, and Yokoz. Um, and uh, I will not give formal proofs uh, because this is uh, very uh, technical. Uh, I will try to present pictures and uh, to explain what happens. Uh, but at some point, I will tell you one can prove that. And uh, so, yes, one can prove that. But there is some work to, to be done. OK, and uh, so uh, yesterday, uh, um, uh, there was a complaint to me uh, that I'm saying that what I'm explaining is elementary. Elementary doesn't mean simple. OK, uh, elementary means that I don't uh, use very advanced theory like, uh, I don't know, uh, uh, um, algebraic geometry, which is a part, a big part now in this field. Uh, and I'm only uh, making pictures. But uh, to justif justify what I'm explaining, there is uh, some uh, technical work, which is not Easy. It's elementary in the sense that uh, I'm only uh, using uh, what people in France uh, learn in class preparatoire, uh, nothing uh, very advanced. But uh, okay, so it's not uh, when you, you try to read the paper by Vich from '82. Uh, it is uh, uh, essentially linear algebra. Uh, but uh, it took me years to understand the details. Uh, and uh, I, <coughs> uh, when uh, Yokos found this presentation, I was extremely happy because now uh, I can transmit this to younger people. Uh, and uh, uh, it, it was a really a great, great improvement. So uh, if you want to see details and proofs, uh, uh, there are uh, um, very uh, good um, uh, uh, papers by Jean-Christophe Yokos uh, that you will find on the internet. Uh, he gave uh, many courses about this subject. <coughs> and uh, uh, as he was uh, extremely precise and uh, uh, extremely uh, uh, smart, uh, you will see all the details very well written. And, uh, uh, so I don't want uh, to to do that. I have no time to do that, and I, I just want to to give some ideas. Uh, okay. So uh, first, uh, 
uh, I try to um, to explain uh, the definition of uh, Rossi induction, and uh, I'm pr proud of that because uh, Rossi is my uh, mathematical grandfather. Uh, so uh, that's why I'm so happy to explain uh, also Rossi induction. Uh, so the Rosy induction is something uh, which looks very naive uh, and I after you think a lot uh, you, you realize that it is a good tool and that's what uh, Vich explained to me several times. Uh, he, he was thinking about this stuff uh, at the beginning of the 80s and uh, when he saw a talk by Vich in, uh, in Rennes uh, he, he was completely convinced uh, that this tool was a good tool to, to, to work with uh, intervallation transformations. But uh, when you see it, it seems really uh, some uh, a very uh, uh, simple idea, but usually simple ideas are very robust and uh, it's good to, to, uh, to have simple ideas. Uh, and so, so this is what, what, what I, I try to, to do. So I, I, I make an example. You have to understand it on an example. So uh, in my uh, picture, the length of A is larger than the length of D. And uh, I consider the same example as I did yesterday. <coughs> and so I have uh, the permutation ABCD goes to DCBA. And uh, uh, I want to look at so the first return map on a shorter interval. And uh, the idea is to look uh, at this interval. And if, uh, uh, so there are two possibilities, either lambda A is larger than lambda D or we have uh, lambda D which is larger than lambda A. And then I will, so this is A, uh, this is, uh, no, this is D, sorry. And in, in the other situation, I will induce on this part. Uh, and uh, I, I want to, to understand what happens. Uh, so to uh, make induction means to look at the first return map from the interval, on the new interval. And of course, uh, B uh, immediately comes to the new interval. Uh, C also. And uh, A is cut into two parts. Uh, uh, a part, the first part, which is the new A. And uh, that uh, the new A comes here. And uh, the, the new D, which first is here, then, and that, that's the only difference with the previous situation, okay? So you have to understand what happens for this D. This new D, this red D, is first in the white A, then in the white D, and then it, com it comes back. Uh, and okay, so uh, so now I have a new a new permutation, uh, which is uh, uh, the top is a d b c, and uh, the bottom is d is the same. Oh, 
That's why uh, Yoko's convention is so nice. Uh, because uh, yesterday, uh, uh, I told you I want to have a permutation for the top and a permutation for the bottom. And I don't want the permutation for the top to be 1, 2, 3, 4. And here you see why. Uh, because uh, in, in this um, uh, case, I change the, the, the top and fix the bottom. And in the other one, I, I will do the contrary. Uh, and I, I'm going to explain the, the combinatorial rule. In fact, we have uh, here a winner, A is a winner. And uh, uh, D is a loser, and uh, because it, it, it will be cut. And uh, the rule is that I put the loser after the winner. Okay, uh, in in this uh, uh, this in in this so so we have a bottom move. This is a bottom move uh, because uh, the uh, uh, the the winner is uh, here uh, and um, yes. Uh, I'm, re I'm, re I'm restricting to this interval, and I want to look at the first return map to it. So I take a point which is in the, in the blue interval, and I wait until it comes back to the blue interval. Wait, what's the blue interval? Uh, it, it, the blue interval is this interval. It, it is blue. You, 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 it looks green or... Yes. So, fir, fir, so f this part first uh, goes out of the of the blue interval. Okay. Th this part it goes out and then comes comes back to the in to the to the blue interval and then comes back exactly like that. You need one or two iterations, exactly, 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 and that. So, so for for the, uh, the, the other, for uh, the A, B, and C, one iteration, and for uh, D, D, we have two iterations. And so, w what is very important, uh, your, your remark is is a, is a good remark. When we see, and that renormalization, in fact, when we see a A. If we see a A, but a red A, it means that we have what? No, a red D, sorry, in my picture. If we see a red D, it means that we know that we, in the white interval, we, we were in A, and then we are in D. Okay? So we know that this corresponds to being in A, and then to being in D. So if you make a symbolic coding of the, of the orbits, we know a little bit more than what we, have, we had before. So uh, first, uh, if we are in A, we know that we are in A. That's all, uh, in, the white, in, the white, in the white guy. If we, are in the, if we know that we are uh, in, uh, in, in the small d, in the small d means the, d, the new d, the, the red one, uh, we know first that we are uh, in A, in the white A, and then that its first image is uh, in D. So we know the trajectory a little bit more. And, uh, and that's the idea of the renormalization, because if we do this operation, so this, this is called Rosy induction. If we do it several times, uh, after sometimes the red interval, it should be red, is very small. This is the red, uh, the, the blue interval. Sorry, the blue interval. I, I apply the Rosy induction many times. The blue interval is very small, and is also cut in four parts. 
Uh, and if I know that I'm here, I know a long piece of my initial trajectory. I, I, uh, so I have my four parts, A, B, C, and D. And I know first that I am in A, then uh, I am somewhere, then somewhere, till I come back to the blue part, since I'm looking at the first return map on the blue part. So I know a long history of my, of my point if I know uh, where I am in uh, this uh, tiny little interval. And so that's exactly what I want to do. I want to understand trajectories. I want to understand trajectories. And uh, so uh, that's what Rosie induction uh, does for us. It's, uh, uh, we make a zoom on, uh, on what happens. And if we zoom enough, we know the trajectory for a very long time. Uh, so I'm doing, there is a rule, and the rule is Rosé induction. So I'm applying Rosé induction, and then I have a new interval. So I have, first I have uh, lambda and a pi. Pi is uh, uh, obtained from pi top and pi bottom, if you, if you wish, or is pi top and pi bottom. Then I have a new lambda and a new pi. Lambda is lambda is lambda a lambda b lambda. I should. It is a vector. Okay. I should write it with a vector. It is a vector. And pi is uh, this data. Uh, so I have a, a lambda and a pi. And after all the induction. Uh, R is for Rosie. I have a new lambda and a new pi. So what is the general rule then? Okay, okay. The general rule <coughs> is that you, you cut the you cut the, the smallest interval uh, on the on the right, which is either on the top or on the bottom. So one one of them is going to be shorter than the other. Uh, we are either in this situation or in that one, okay? And I and I induce on uh, this, this interval if uh, uh, if the if the shortest interval is on the top, and I induce on this one is the shortest interval is on the bottom. Okay, so that's the rule, and I do and I apply this one time, but I can continue. Okay, and, uh, and I can continue, and each time the length of the, the interval uh, gets uh, shorter and shorter. Uh, okay, so that's that's the algorithm, uh, and of course, we cannot use. You, you, you want me to explain what, 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 is, sim what, is, symbolic, what is symbolic coding? I think you maybe say what that is, because I think what you're, you've got this equation, D goes to AD, and I think you're talking about sort of recoding the sequence, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. But maybe it's good to understand what symbolic coding is first, before you, I mean, and it, then it's easy, it's easy to understand what recoding is. Okay, okay, so I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm going to explain symbolic coding in a minute. So I, 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 uh, okay. Yeah, 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 I agree. I agree with that. I agree with that. Okay. I agree with that because I, I was a student of Rosie in a sense. So, so yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So, and, and in Marseille, symbolic coding is, uh, is extremely important. So, I, yeah, I agree with that. And uh, I, I, I will say something about symbolic coding in a minute. Uh, Can we just make sure, maybe write down the answer in the other case, just to make sure that we 
no, uh, no. I, I will. I, in, 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 in a second case, in a, in a minute, you will see the graph. No, I just want to see the, what is the answer. I mean, what is the presentation? Okay, okay. You really want to know it? Okay, so we start with this permutation. Okay, uh, and uh, what I did, if I'm not mistaken, is uh, this uh, this move. Okay. Yes, yes, yes. But, but li listen, what I, I'm trying to explain. So what we did is this. Okay, but uh, this is uh, in the case when lambda. Uh, a is bigger than lambda d, okay? But if uh, lambda uh, d is bigger than lambda a, uh, I, I, I do a top move, and this is the result, this one. And, and, and then, uh, so I wanted to show this a little bit later, but uh, then uh, when I apply the Rossi induction at the level of uh, permutation, I'm uh, uh, making a pass in a graph. And that's exactly this graph for, for this example. Yes? So you did something about the renormalization and the rest of that graph. Uh, well, that seems to be a totally different graph, has nothing related to this. But it no, 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 no. no. Here, here I start with a. Uh, uh, not that. No, no, the trajectory has nothing to do. The trajectory, a priori, is the trajectory of a given interval action transformation. And that, uh, uh, so that uh, one move of, in, of rotation induction, for instance, I do this, then uh, I continue to do a top move, then I do a bottom move, then I do a top move, and so on and so forth. Okay? Why the best has nothing to do with the trajectory? Okay, okay. So, uh, the, so let, let me explain that. I want to explain that now. Uh, so wha what? So uh, so the the new length uh, is obtained from the previous one by uh, by a, a non-negative matrix. No, the old length is obtained from the new one by a non-negative matrix. And in fact, uh, it is a very simple matrix because what we have uh, is uh, lambda a uh, is equal uh, to. Can you call the matrix something other than a? Uh, yes, yes, m. Ah. If you want. Uh, uh, is m okay for you? Uh, lambda A is so I just looking at what happens here lambda B You see that <coughs> you see that the length is shorter after one iteration. The sum is not preserved, so it's a matrix uh, with uh, identity and somewhere. Um, and uh, so that's the relation between what we had before and what we are. Okay, okay, okay. Just a moment. Uh, just a moment. <coughs> Uh, so this is the relation bet between lengths, okay? Uh, and now, uh, and uh, so of course, if we apply, uh, uh, if we apply this uh, uh, n times, I have lambda is equal to uh, 
mn, uh, m1, mn of uh, lambda n. And I will call this b uh, n. Uh, and uh, if we are lucky, uh, at some points, this will be a positive matrix. Uh, you, you have a question? Uh, you you mean uh, so I uh, I'm just considering the the two intervals which are on the right and either one is shorter or the, the one that's longer is just split up. Yes 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 and this is called the the, the winner yeah, yeah 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 so I I, I always have this rule uh, that uh, the loser is after the winner okay. Uh, so that's something that uh, now we can uh, forget this picture and uh, write this diagram just um, uh, knowing uh, the combinatorial information we have, uh, and uh, that which is very efficient. Okay, so uh, I continue with length, and then I will say something about trajectories. Uh, so uh, to is it always an elementary matrix? yes. Yes, it is always an elementary matrix. And that's why uh, the Yoko's convention is so good, because uh, uh, with which convention it was not always uh, an elementary matrix, and uh, this was a nightmare to make cal calculations. This is always an elementary matrix, because you always have one in uh, interval which is uh, split like that. This is, uh, so I said you have to, to prove something. Uh, uh, at some point, but this is true. And uh, what we have to, to each uh, uh, vertex of the graph, so this is called the Rosy diagram. This is a Rosy diagram. Uh, so to each um, vertex is attached. Uh, uh, a simplex, the simplex of the lambdas. So we want uh, four lengths, so positive numbers, and we normalize so that the sum <laughs> is uh, equal to, to one, if you wish. Uh, and uh, what, we, what we do is that uh, uh, this simplex is cut into two parts. One is uh, lambda a uh, larger than lambda d, for instance. And uh, uh, and this part is uh, so we did the bottom move if I'm not mistaken. So we go here and here it goes. This part goes to uh, this uh, projectively. It goes. It's on two on uh, on this simplex, except that the length is not one anymore. Okay, so if I normalize the length, it, it is on two uh, this simplex, and it's very important that the length, length is not the same. Uh, but projectively, uh, it it is on. Two. So we have a map uh, which is two to one. Uh, because uh, uh, half a simplex is uh, mapped surjectively on uh, one simplex. Okay. Uh, so and and so if you want, if you want to, uh, this is not very impressive here, but if you want uh, to get. Uh, an interval of the same length, 
you just renormalize the length to one. Okay? And this is almost like Muller flow. Uh, okay? So, so the, the good, so it depends what you want to do, but the, if you really want to get uh, something from an interval of length one to an interval of length one, you, you do that which uh, shorten the interval, and then you uh, make a, a dilatation. Uh, and of course, I'm cheating a lot. Uh, I, I said that at the beginning. Uh, so Rosin induction is not defined everywhere. Thank you for the question. Uh, there is a case lambda a is equal to lambda d, and then the Rosin induction stops. Uh, but I want to do ergodic theory, uh, and so uh, I do not consider this case. Yes. 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 This is the entire diagram for, 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 for if we start with the permutation for 3 to 1. So if I don't know the permutation, can I construct this diagram? Yes. Yes. And Why do I see only, I don't know, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 out of the 24 permutations? Good question. So, good question. So, uh, a, go a good question is uh, uh, to compute. So, so, first, I only start with uh, irreducible permutation, because uh, I, I said yesterday that I want only want to consider uh, irreducible permutations. Otherwise, uh, I have two, uh, for instance, two interaction transformations to, uh, together, and it's not interesting. So, and uh, there is also a lemma, which tells, this is, a, this lemma is very simple, which tells me that if I start with an irreducible permutation, I will get an irreducible permutation after reduction. So, uh, thus, I do not get uh, all the permutations, and uh, we will see later that uh, uh, before, the, um, b so there is a surface which is hidden, and the genus of the surface and uh, the, the type of the singularities are preserved by, by, this, uh, uh, by this operation. I'm going to explain that, so that's why we do not get everything, but, but, but the calculation of the cardinality of Rossi classes is not something uh, easy. It's a result by uh, Vincent de la Croix. And I think I should also mention uh, Corentin Boissy. Corentin Boissy, and uh, this is only was uh, is only possible because uh, of the work uh, of um, uh, Konsevich and Zorich, which was quoted uh, yesterday by, by Mateus, because uh, they, they described the connected components of moduli spaces, and uh, they, they proved that there is a link uh, between uh, this and Rosy classes. So this is not something easy at all. So you need... The, the big work by Konsevich and Zorich, and even, even after this, uh, there is a complicated combinatorial problem solved by uh, uh, Vincent and uh, Corentin. No, 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 this is not a simple question. So, what is, what is a Rosy class? <laughs> uh, Rosy class, uh, I sometimes say Rosy class, the diagram is the same. On what? On, on no, 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 no. Yes. So, uh, last last class you mentioned something about uh, renormalization, which is in the sense uh, of uh, just breaking somewhere, then compressing somewhere. Yes, yes, yes. And today just this is part of renormalization. yes, it is. It is. I only have one dimension. Le let me try to explain what happens with okay. two dimensions. But first, I answer your your first question about. Um, uh, about symbolic codings and uh, uh. so uh, when uh, when I have uh, an interval exchange transformation. 
so I wanted that A, OK. Uh, I uh, have a map, which is a coding, uh, from, uh, so, so this is I, and the map is T. So this is the interval I, and the map is T, and so I have And, uh, and so I have the shift on the on this space, uh, and I uh, if I have a point x, uh, uh, what is the coding of x? So this is c, the map c for coding. Uh, so uh, so if x is in a, uh, I put a a. And then I'm looking at the image of x, and I, so I'm looking, c of x is, uh, is a sequence. And uh, uh, and so i is i1 giving an id. Uh, so this is a partition, so uh, d is equal to 4 in this case. Uh, and c0 uh, zero, uh, uh, is equal to i uh, if x is in i a. And uh, cn uh, is equal to k if uh, tn of x belongs to i k. So I'm just following the trajectory. And so if x is here, then t of x is here then uh, T2 of X is here. The beginning of the coding is uh, A, C, D. Uh, and uh, essentially, uh, to look uh, at the, um, uh, and we can also uh, consider the uh, by infinite codings, if you prefer. What? Uh, no, 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 no. This, this is something infinite. So I'm, I'm considering infin an infinite sequence. An infinite, uh, so, okay. So here you, you want to have 1D. So what, from what, what I said, uh, uh, and uh, so this is the coding. Uh, you, we can do it for essentially any dynamical system and any partition. Uh, uh, this is uh, very, very general, and uh, this is something extremely ba basic in uh, ergodic theory. It is very useful. Um, and um, uh, essentially, uh, if we want to consider uh, properties uh, in ergodic theory, to consider the the interval exchange or its coding is the same. Uh, um, it's essentially the same. Uh, so the, the problem is, of course, for this point, what is the coding of this point? Uh, yes? Uh, yes. Yes. So for to to each to each <coughs> to each um, a vertex is um, a simplex is attached, so which is g given by the length of the uh, the possible interval exchange transformations. Okay. So here I have four lengths. 
uh, <coughs> and I assume that the sum is 1. And uh, the Rosy map is uh, just uh, uh, cutting into two parts, depending uh, which uh, letter is uh, on the right. And uh, if, uh, for instance, A is larger than D, I apply this move. So what do you mean by apply this move? So I change, uh, I change, yes. change the permutation. So I change what uh, uh, Yoko's call, uh, calls um, combinatorial data of, uh, of the intervolution transformation. So I start from this vertex, OK? Uh, then, depending on uh, my intervolution transformation, I, have, I always have uh, two choices. Uh, one, uh, it is uh, bottom, and one is, which is top. OK, so if uh, I apply bottom, uh, I know the, the, new, um, the new vertex. And the new lengths are given by a matrix from, from the original one are given by a matrix which is a, an elementary matrix. And here the, and here, the formulas are uh, given uh, by, by this. Uh, here, here is a formula in this case. The simplex, yes. So you, you change it, you're taking the map from the simplex to the test? No, 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 no. No, no. Uh, uh, so, it I so I have uh, the, this graph, uh, and to each, uh, so it is a map from the graph across the simplex to the graph across the simplex. So the graph is the set of vertices. Yes. Okay. Yes. Yes. So the simplex is just a matrix, including the length. Yes. Yes, yes. The, the, the simplex is just the length of the... Of yeah, no, 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 no. Other question? So you can maybe write down simplex of length. Simplex of length, okay. Simplex. Yes? Uh, no, I, I, so maybe I'm, then I, the bot, this one, this one, I made a mistake here. Uh, okay. okay, so I, uh, uh, the C and A are switched. Thank you. Uh, uh, okay, so uh, so this is the coding, and what what uh, so this is something completely general, uh, and uh, what uh, I want to uh, uh, to explain is how we go from uh, the, the original coding to the new one, and uh, uh, in in this example, so on A B C D. And uh, what I, I was trying to explain is that each time I see a D, uh, in fact, I add uh, AD. Uh, and uh, so I define what is called a substitution. And the substitution uh, 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 sends uh, A to A so it's a map uh, which is a priori defined on, uh, from uh, with to each letter uh, it uh, gives uh, a word the alphabet and uh, we uh, AD and um, uh, if I have a word uh, A, B, C, uh, it's image. So this is S. 
uh, S of ABC uh, is obtained by concatenation, so it's S of A. Uh, and uh, so uh, what uh, I'm uh, trying to explain is that when uh, I'm doing this move, this bottom move, uh, uh, I uh, get uh, the symbolic system obtained from the interval exchange transformation. Uh, and uh, the new one uh, 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 is obtained, no, the, the old one is obtained from the new one applying S. So, so that's exactly what we have. And uh, uh, so, uh, and uh, uh, if you want something very precise, uh, M is the matrix of uh, the substitution. Oh, it's a transpose, I never know. Uh, Yes, to each row is substitution, and you compose uh, substitutions, uh, and you go uh, better and better approximation of uh, of the of the world, of the world of the original system. But formally, the substitution seems to increase the length. And here, it's not increased. Oh, it's four. Uh, it's uh, uh, it is a substitution uh, increases uh, the length, uh, and uh, it is uh, exactly what I have here. Uh, it's exactly what I have here. Uh, when I, I know a D, uh, I know something longer. I know that I have uh, first a A and then a D. Okay, when I uh, I forget this, uh, I know something longer. So, so that, that's what happened. Uh, okay, so now uh, I want uh, to go to, uh, uh, to do something with surfaces, to do the same thing but with surfaces. And the idea is to uh, put heights, uh, and uh, the difficulty is to make a nice picture. So I want to make a picture like that. Okay, so uh, I have the length uh, of the interval, uh, and uh, I uh, define uh, beta uh, a to be uh, uh, lambda a plus i eta a and uh, so on and so forth for the other one. So, uh, so this is lambda a, and this is eta a. Uh, so uh, I have a vector, uh, and uh, uh, this way uh, I produce a, polyg a polygon, and um, uh, I, I repeat twice uh, uh, my broken line, once with uh, the top permutation, A 
B, C, D, and once with the bottom permutation, D, C, B, A. Okay? And uh, then uh, I, I want to make a surface. I want to make a surface, so I want to glue this. Can you also draw a lambda B? La yes. Because there are two possibilities. Uh, no, no, no. Uh, uh, lambda B. Yes. Oh, lambda B. Lambda B. Lambda B is uh, this one. And, oh, uh, and eta B is uh, this. Is uh, this is uh, eta b? Eta b is uh, is a vertical component of this vector. Okay. Um, uh, and uh, then uh, I want to make a surface um, in a very. So I have so this way I have a polygon, and I want to make a surface. Uh, and I want to make ad identifications. Uh, so two A's are identification, I identified together, two B's all, and so on and so forth. And uh, uh, of course, uh, if uh, I want to get a surface, uh, I I don't want to have two broken lines that uh, do something like that. So uh, how can I do a surface with something like that? Uh, so if uh, I have uh, really a polygon uh, inside, it's an obvious way to, to do it. Otherwise, it is more complicated and uh, maybe not possible. Uh, and so that uh, part uh, uh, I'm going to uh, explain very Agree. Uh, so uh, I'll say that uh, a combinatorial um, uh, suspension data is admissible. Suspension data are the uh, the etas If uh, so, I have a top uh, a top broken line is above the segment, and the uh, bottom. And so, of course, except maybe for the last one. I, I want them to, to clo close up. So, uh, that mean uh, the segment which is uh, on uh, most on the right. Uh, because uh, uh, because uh, uh, this is Im uh, important, uh, I want uh, I want so to make Rosy induction, and uh, no to make Rosy induction to make Rosyvich induction in this case, and uh, and uh, the very nice idea from Vich is that this way we are going to get some invertible map, and uh, to to decide the past will depend if this point is above or below the segment. That point? Yes. The last point is above the segment is... It's above or below the segment. So I will g let this as an exercise. So it is written on my notes, but uh, uh, it uh, takes time to uh, to make uh, the, the picture. So it's, uh, it's really complicated to do on the blackboard the picture uh, one step before. Uh, so it, uh, I made three times it on my on my on my notes so uh i can i can explain that uh, for those who want after uh, after the the talk uh, but so that, that that's why it is very important uh, so now the goal 
the goal. So we have a surface. And, and so, so first, there is a lemma. Uh, I'm, ver I'm very vague, but there is a lemma. Uh, OK, so if the permutation is irreducible, this is always this. There is always an open uh, set of, um, of suspension data. It is not, I'm not working with uh, the empty set. OK. Uh, and so the, there is a lemma. It's always bad to work with the empty set. Uh, okay, 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 Samuel. Uh, okay, uh, yes. Uh, uh, and uh, so this this le this lemma means that uh, I, ca I, ca I can always uh, make the surface uh, above uh, the interval exchange transformation. Uh, assuming assuming uh, the permutation pi is, irredu is uh, irreducible. I will always assume that pi is irreducible. So pi is given. Pi is irreducible. <coughs> no, lambda is not given. La 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 lambda is not given. For any lambda, for any lambda, uh, if pi, yeah, for any lambda, if pi is irreducible, I can make the, there is an open set, I can make the construction. So, so I'm sorry, now, so you say now that you assume pi is given and lambda is also given, yes. and now you only choose the Yes, yes. I, I want to make a suspension, so uh, the lambda is, the lambda is, uh, is given, so I, expl uh, I already explained how to make the Rosin for the lambda, and I want to make uh, so last time I was trying to explain that from a translation interface, I, I, I can produce an interval or family of interval exchange translations, and now I, can, I want to do uh, the, the reverse operation. Uh, and uh, uh, of course, uh, if uh, the permutation is reducible, I, I, I cannot do something interesting. So this is uh, always the hypothesis. Uh, and now, uh, the, I want to uh, do the s essentially the same thing uh, as uh, I did before. So in this case, A is a loser. Uh, I, I want to cut and paste exactly the same thing I was doing in the torus. So when I was cutting the torus in two parts, and uh, I want to cut and paste and to put this, uh, this here. And this is the new A and the new D. And I have exactly the same rule. The loser is just after the, the winner. So the new, the new surface uh, is uh, uh, in uh, green now. So this is the Rosevich induction. Uh, and uh, what is uh, important is that uh, I only took uh, made moves on the surface, but I... Can you say once again, what exactly did you do there? So I... I, I, the, the I, cu the I, cut, I cut this yes. and glue this part uh, here. No, I, I, no, I, I, what, what, uh, uh, so maybe my, my drawing is very bad, but uh, A is maybe a little bit... So Yes, it, it's, a, it's the same, uh, except that uh, I have a different uh, presentation of the surface. Okay, 
uh, and um, uh, it, it is still it is still admissible, but for a, for a, for a, for, a, for a different uh, for a different permutation. The permutation is now A B C D D A C B. But I mean the endpoint is now below the technique. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Uh, yeah, no, 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 no. Uh, except for the, the last segment, and the last segment can be either above or below the, se the, the, se the, the segment. The, the, the last point can be either uh, above or below the segment. It's part of the definition. It says except for the last segment. Yes. But that was his question, I guess. Maybe you should draw what is the new broken line, yeah, unbroken line. Yeah. So oh, okay, so so, so the, the first broken line is A B C D, and the the new broken line is uh, uh, the end point uh, is here. Yes, uh, this is the new D. This is the new D, if you prefer. Um, and so that's the Rosevich induction. So, so we, we do it at the level of, of a translation surface. Uh, and of course, uh, uh, it is uh, something defined above, in a sense, uh, the Rosé induction. For, for those who know ergodic theory, uh, it, is a it is a natural extension of uh, the Rosé induction. And so what it means, so, so this is a complicated name, to say that, uh, so I write it here, the Rosevich, Rosevich I will write A and B. So this is a lemma I'm not going to, to prove. And of course, uh, uh, a bijection, uh, uh, as it was mentioned a moment ago, uh, it's except on a set of zero measure uh, where it is not defined. And uh, so I want to be able to find a past uh, to, to, to this. And this is an exercise I, 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 I let, but I, I give the answer of the, the exercise. Uh, So, uh, so the idea is uh, that uh, if, but I don't want to make the picture, it's a little bit uh, long, if the endpoint uh, of the broken line is uh, under the segment, Uh, it comes <coughs> from a top operation. <coughs> and of course, if it is above, it comes from a bottom operation. So, which means uh, that this is uh, over. Uh, this is above the segment. Above the segment, uh, so the past uh, was uh, we did the bottom operation. No, uh, what did I say? Under the segment, yes. Uh, I, I, I. So, uh, so it means that I come from this uh, permutation uh, in my in my in my picture. So the past of the original picture uh, uh, is uh, translation surface uh, obtained uh, from this permutation and not and not fr not from that one. So I let this as an exercise. But it is not difficult. You just have to make a, a, a nice picture, and you see that in one case you uh, you will get uh, you will.
get um, an admissible suspension, and in the other one, yes. Yes? Yes, yes. It's exactly a change of coordinates, yes. Yes, yes. You, you see that you have parameters and you can uh, uh, move a little bit your parameters. And uh, this, this, uh, is that what Mateus uh, uh, said at some point, if I remember correctly, yesterday? Uh, you can move a little bit this vector, shake the vectors a little bit, and it will be a neighborhood of your surface. Uh, and uh, uh, as I said, uh, I'm uh, interested to surfaces up to cut and paste. And so what Rosie uh, Vich uh, induction does is a cut and paste. This is correct. OK. Uh, so. Uh, Yes. Yes. Yeah. Yes. And uh, yes. Um, so should we? Does it mean this lemma over there? Does it mean that this whole graph, this uh, graph cross simplex, uh, is now replaced by graph cross simplex cross uh, mm -hmm. and, and so we have this R V acting on this. And this is a, this is a, by, a bijection in, in uh, at the le at the level of uh, so everything we can do there can be lifted to uh, become eta. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's the thing. Mm -hmm. And uh, and 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 uh, what is important is, is that uh, in in uh, at the level of, uh, of a measure theoretical uh, statement we we have something which is now. Uh, which 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 is one to one, which was not, and it was two to one, and now it is one to one. Oh. And it really depends on uh, where the point is uh, located. Uh, the last point is located, and I let this as an exercise. Yes. 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 I. 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 I want. I want to to do something, uh, to to prove almost uh, everywhere statements, and so I, uh, I don't care about 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 uh, about a co-dimension one condition, uh, except that it won't be completely true because I will I will also speak about periodic orbits, uh, but and so here there is something to to prove, but. Uh, but we, we one has to prove that uh, Rosé induction is is well defined in this case. But for 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 for, uh, for for theorems about almost every interval exchange or almost every uh, flow, then uh, what I'm saying is uh, is correct. Uh, okay, and so uh, in a sense, uh, and so this is just uh, just philosophy. Uh, the lambda corresponds to the future. So if I know the lambdas, I, I, I can apply Rosé induction. Uh, uh, and uh, uh, I don't need the, the, the thetas to, to, to predict what I'm going to do in the future. And to, uh, um, to go in the other direction, I really need uh, the etas and I, uh, it's uh, uh, the, the etas uh, which will correspond to the past. And uh, that is very important for, uh, so, so philosophically it's very important and also technically sometimes it's uh, extremely important. Uh, but right now it's just a philosophical comment. Okay, so, so now I want to make a link with Steichmuller flow. So if I apply many, many times uh, the Rosevich uh, induction, 
uh, what I get is that I get a surface which is uh, uh, no, 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 in the other direction. So I get a surface which is uh, very uh, stretched in the horizontal direction and, and very long. Uh, and uh, so, I, as I said yesterday, if we want to get good properties, we want to see uh, surfaces which look the same. So, and it will never look the same. It will the horizontal will be contracted and the vertical will will be uh, bigger and bigger. So the way to do this uh, is uh, to apply Teichmuller flow. I apply a uh, Rosé induction, Rosé-Vich induction, sorry. So I start with a, a, a surface which is presented like that and uh, which has a good segment of length one. So I start with uh, the segment of length one. I apply the Rosevich induction. So I have a segment which is shorter. Uh, and uh, then I want to do renormalization. So this is uh, uh, less than one because I, a part is cut. And then what I want to do is to uh, I apply this so that the length of the horizontal segment is one again. And of course, uh, in, the, uh, in the vertical direction, I make a contraction. Uh, and so that, uh, so if you want to see, so this is uh, um, Moduli space, a vague. Uh, uh, so uh, here is the part where I have a segment, a good segment. I'm going to explain what a good segment is of length one. And the, here there is something hidden. Uh, then I apply Rosé induction, Rosevich induction. Then, so Rosevich induction is, is a map. Okay, and it is the same surface. It is just uh, action of a diffeomorphism, if you if you wish. Then I apply uh, Teichmuller flow till uh, I come back to this co-dimension co one um, uh, uh, co-dimension one uh, uh, su surface, or I don't know how to say because it's not really a surface, but uh, set. Uh, and I continue. And uh, in the literature, you see a, a very complicated formula for the time we have to to we have to apply. And uh, first, we when we see this, it is absolutely a nightmare. What is this number? And this number is just the ra the ratio the log of the ratio between this length and that one. We want this, every, if we, so that way it's good to have pictures. And uh, if we see uh, geometrically, uh, everybody is able uh, to, uh, to say uh, which t we have to choose so that a segment of a given length uh, becomes a segment of length one. Okay, and so that's what you see in papers. And you, there is a complicated formula, but this complicated formula is just this ratio, okay? And uh, but uh, one can be stuck for long if we only uh, look at the formula. Uh, and that's it. Okay. Uh, so uh, so that's the picture you should uh, memorize uh, because uh, it is. Uh, uh, it lives in. Uh, uh, in the the space of translation uh, surfaces. And the genus is fixed. Uh, the genus is fixed, and, and I want I want to make a. <coughs> uh, 
Yes? Oh, okay, 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 okay. Okay, sorry, 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 so, so, Yes, that's why. Uh, okay, so this 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 should be this should be yes. That's why I made two boundaries, and this should be in those. This is uh, this should, should two boundaries should be the same. Yes, uh, thank you. Uh, this, this is identified here. So 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 so, so sorry about this mistake. Uh, so so. Again, where, I mean, what, what, are the, what is the dotted line? So so the, uh, there is no dot, uh, dotted line. So it's just to explain that I change uh, the marking. Okay, it, it, I think it, yeah, sorry. Ah. I, change, I change the marking. So it looks like in Tecmiller space. Yes, so, so, so I, I, I did, ah. I, at first I did that in Tecmiller space, but it's not a good idea. So, uh, so, so imagine that uh, these two boundaries are the same, uh, identified. The, 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 this is identified to this, okay? And so I change this, uh, this uh, 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 I apply Rosé induction, so I change um the uh the sh the the shape of the uh, of the surface and then i apply tecmiller flows to get to this again and i have to explain what it means so i, I have so there is a lemma that i have to say and which is not uh, uh something obvious yes uh, it's uh, this. So I have to say something. And uh, first I, I write something f false, uh, and then I, 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 I comment. So for every Translation surface. There is a unique segment I, which is horizontal, uh, such that uh, the length of I. Uh, is uh, larger than one. The uh, image by Rosé induction uh, of I, so I apply Rosé induction on I, is less than one. And I is a good segment, which means that I starts from a singularity, uh, and its end is a pre-image of a singularity. This is I. This is a singular point. So uh, I, when I am uh, writing this, it means that uh, I'm looking at the first return map on I. This is an interval exchange transformation. And thus, I can apply the Rosé induction to this interval exchange transformation. This is not completely true, and uh, there is not a big deal, except when you want to make counting. Uh, so, in fact, it is true if we fix the singularity, and if we, f so when we have a singularity, uh, we, uh, for instance, if uh, uh, I have a singularity of angle 6 pi, what I'm going to see is uh, something like that. This is the local picture. Uh, this is pi. Uh, and I have uh, something uh, like that. And, uh, and th this is uh, what we see. around uh, a point with angle 6 pi. And so I have uh, three choices for a separatrix. This one, that one, and that one. OK? So, and, uh, and maybe on the surface, I, I have more than one singular point. So 
uh, this is correct if I fix singularity and uh, the outgoing separatrix. Then, uh, uh, so, uh, so, which means that uh, I'm not in what is called moduli space, but in a finite cover of it. I, I, I fix a finite number of data. Uh, this is not a big deal for many things, uh, but uh, uh, if you want to make uh, complicated countings, if you want to count closed geodesics, for instance, this makes a big difference. So. We have to be careful uh, by what we, but what we mean, uh, and uh, uh, so th this is uh, this is something uh, correct. Uh, and so, I, uh, what I do is that I start with uh, this. I make uh, the, the construction, the suspension data of, uh, above this in this. Uh, uh, this interval, then uh, I uh, do all the induction. I don't move point, uh, but uh, uh, I don't get this, uh, uh, this condition anymore. And then I apply geodetic flow to come back to the same situation. And then I do all the induction and blah, blah, blah. Okay, so th that's what I do. Okay, so uh, maybe... Uh, what is the relation of between your good seed when of length one? Yes. And this number. Uh, this, is, uh, this is exactly. Uh, so uh, uh, this is, this is uh, exactly uh, when when I as length exactly one. When the good segment. So so I'm looking at surfaces when the uh, when I have when the good segment has exactly length one. So. Uh, yeah, yes, it is a it is a co-dimension one condition. It is a co-dimension one. Be because a priori is a good segment as a length, uh, which is whatever it is. Uh, but uh, uh, on a, a set of co-dimension one, it has length one. And I start from this, I apply all the induction, and uh, I move back with uh, type Muller geodetic flow to this co-dimension one locus. Okay, and I continue. <coughs> That's what I do. In your, in your picture, which initially looks like uh, the yes. Uh, no, 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 uh, this is not, uh, no, this, this is not a, comp this is not, this is not a compact locus. This is not a compact locus because, uh, for the simple reason, you could imagine that the length of the, uh, the total length of the segment is one, but uh, you have something like that. Uh, you have a tiny little segment and a very big one. Uh, okay, so before uh, continuing, I want to say, uh, so I want to state uh, a theorem by Measure and Vich, uh, which uh, I want to explain wh why I presented all this technology. Okay, otherwise it's completely stupid to to, to speak during uh, one hour and uh, uh, or maybe more. Uh, and uh, and uh, but first, uh, uh, I, I want to to make. Uh, uh, to explain what we can prove with this. But first, I want to uh, make a connection with uh, Matteo's talk and to explain what happens for uh, d equal 2. Uh, first, for d equal 2. And so, to explain to you that this is uh, a generalization of something you know by heart. So what do we do? What do we do? We cut B. Uh, 
and uh, uh, we have a uh, so this uh, okay and we have b here again and and, so. um, and what do we do so we have lambda a goes to lambda a minus lambda b uh, if And otherwise, we have lambda b and this. And so, if we apply this several times, so I, I subtract <laughs> lambda b again, and I subtract lambda b a third time, and then lambda a is the smallest one, and I have to change roles. And this is what this is just continued fraction algorithm. So this is an additive version, additive version because step by step, I subtract B to A as much as I can. So, and, and then I exchange roles. This is what we do in continued fraction algorithm. So, and um, it, uh, it is not surprising because uh, we work with rotations in this case. And uh, for rotations, uh, we know that the good way to do it is to, to apply uh, the continued fraction algorithm. And so, if we do this, and if we do the good normalization in this case, uh, you will see that the map is something like that, and uh, uh, I don't want to give formulas, but uh, this is uh, 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 one half, this is zero, and this is one, and these are uh, Möbius transformations, so, and this, the derivative is one here, so uh, this is an exercise to, um, uh, to, to see what, what it is, so I wrote uh, this in my notes, but, uh, um, okay, sorry. So, uh, I am out of time, so I'm not going to uh, to, uh, to to write formulas. But uh, you will see that uh, the the measure, the invariant measure, uh, by the the additive version. is infinite. And in fact, it is uh, dx over x. Uh, and uh, we have to apply the, uh, to accelerate it and to do the, what we know, what, which is continued uh, fractions. And then we get an invariant measure, which is finite, which is... A Can you say again, what is this picture? What is this, uh, this picture is supposed to uh, explain this in good coordinates. Uh, and the good coordinates, okay, uh, 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 so we normalize uh, to, uh, we normalize the one to, uh, the big one to be one. So uh, uh, I have uh, two others. Uh, so in this case, I have lambda a goes to this, and lambda b goes to lambda b. Okay, so that's the first uh, case, and the second case. So and this is something projective. Okay, so what is important is the ratio between both. And so I normalize so that the first one, uh, the the biggest one is one. And this is the graph. Yes, this is a graph of the of the projective the of the projective function, and, and I normalize so that the the biggest one is equal to one. Yes. So in this case, the simplices are one-dimensional. Yes. So. Uh, 
They, they are projective. They are projective. Uh, yes, yes. I, normal, I normalize so that uh, the the largest one is one. So. But, but maybe you can make a comparison of what you did before. You're really, these are really the branches of the inverse transformation, which are taking the large interval into the small interval. Uh, I, I'm. I'm uh, it, it is the map. Uh, this, this is the map. This direction. It 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 is uh, so the calculation I made. Uh, is the map this direction? One, one y. This is the inverse of the matrix you had before. Right? It is the inverse because it is a it is a map from lambda a to lambda prime a. Yes. So if we kept this on the side, we're seeing intervals being taken inside other intervals. Yes. 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 Hmm. Hmm. And so, if you want to get uh, some uh, finite measure, you have to accelerate the algorithm, and we get the, the Fare map in this case. But Mateus will discuss this or not? OK, OK. But uh, I'm out of time, so I want to just to state uh, Mezirovich's theorem, uh, because this is uh, the goal of all of these technologies, to, to, to get uh, this theorem. And part of what I was explaining is uh, in the proof of Vich. So this is what, what uh, people uh, know, uh, cl state classically as uh, the Mezirovich theorem. Uh, and uh, in fact, what uh, is important in the theorem is uh, ergodic uh, in the moduli space. Uh, and in fact, it is not what is really important, what is really hard. Uh, so I have, I have this space that I, I described as a suspension data, blah, blah, blah. And I have the flow which is acting on this, play, on this space. And the action is ergodic. And what is, uh, in fact, difficult is not this. Uh, the part, uh, after what I explained, uh, the only part which is difficult, but which is really difficult, So when I, I mean ergodic, I, mean, I assume that the surfaces, of course, are of area one, as I already said. What is difficult is uh, the finiteness of the measure. So uh, I, I, I explained that for the algorithm, finite, we have to accelerate. But for the flow, it is. Uh, and um, I, I, if we have something uh, uh, finite, uh, a finite measure, uh, to to prove uh, uh, so, and if, so then it's not difficult to prove ergodicity. Uh, it is because we have past and future, essentially. Uh, we have past and future, and we, we can apply classical arguments. And uh, as soon as we have ergodicity, uh, essentially, it looks like um, 
if it were uh, if we have a closed uh, geodesic, then uh, the lengths are given by uh, eigenvalues of matrices. And uh, if uh, we, we do not have that, but we have ergodicity, uh, we have infinitely many often positive matrices, and that's uh, the trick to get, uh, to, to get unique ergodicity. So, so what, what I claim, that, uh, uh, from what I explained, uh, uh, if you assume this, uh, this is not very difficult. So that's the only thing I can say. This is, and, and I'm not cheating at all. This is, this is rather easy uh, with what I explained. And this is a, a big calculation, which is uh, something uh, not, not, not simple. I'm sorry. I don't understand the statement. OK. What, what does this thing say? So the statement is say, uh, we, have I, I, we have a permutation, OK? And we assume that it is irreducible. Uh, then almost every interval exchange transformation with, uh, okay, with uh, permutation pi uh, is uniquely ergodic. Uh, it means what I said uh, yesterday. So it means that uh, if I take f a continuous function. So this is not in some modular space of. No, 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 no. Uh, I take uh, f a continuous function for from i to r, so the, in, the interval exchange <laughs> acts on an, inter, on an interval. Uh, and no, that part I understand, but what does it have to do with transcending uh, Ah, uh, do, do you want the definition of unique ergodicity or not? No, you, you said okay. yesterday. I okay, 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 okay. I mean uh, okay, what is, okay. So I claim that, uh, uh, I wrote this because it is what people know, uh, and because it is a nice re result. Then I claim that this, in fact, implies this. And this is not very, very difficult. This is not difficult. Ergodicity of the geodesic flow implies ergodicity uh, of, uh, um, of almost every interval action transformation. This is not difficult. Essentially, uh, uh, what we say is that we have all the rosy. We have all the rosy. Uh, we have all the, ro the rosy paths, and then what we, we claim is that then we know the length. So from the rosy pass, the length. Is, uh, there is only one length that satisfies that uh, 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 with this rosy pass. So that, that's essentially the proof. And, uh, and if we have a positive matrix, if we have a positive matrix, we want uh, uh, lambda, uh, theta lambda is equal to A lambda. And we want, this, if A is positive, uh, we know that there is only one lambda which is an eigenvector uh, of a positive matrix. This is called the peron frobenius theorem. Okay? And uh, what I claim is that, essentially, there is a fancy version, uh, um, a random version, in a sense, of the peron frobenius theorem. So if we see infinitely many often positive matrices, we have the same result. And this is due to Furstenberg. Uh, uh, so, so what you have to remember is that uh, if we have enough positive matrices, uh, we can apply a version of uh, peron frobenius that, that, That's the philosophy. And if we have ergodic, uh, ergodicity, what ergodicity tells us is that here we have a small simplex uh, and, uh, with, uh, and the, return, the return map to this is A, which is positive, and we go there infinitely often. And that's it. That's the proof. OK, so that's uh, ergodicity implies this. Now, uh, finite measure implies ergodicity. This is a little bit more complicated, but not so, so much. Uh, this is the, what is called the Hopf argument. Uh, and uh, I don't, I, I have no time to explain it. It would be really not serious to, to explain it in, uh, in minus half minute. Uh, but it is not difficult. And what is really 
uh, hard is the finiteness of the measure. And Matteo will say yes. Uh, <laughs> and I'm sure that all specialists will say yes. So I'm not cheating, uh, telling you that uh, this is really the strategy of the, of the proof of the theorem. Yeah. And then I guess you have some point in modular space of translation surfaces. Yes. And then what? I mean, what is the connection between ergodicity and ergodic? This implies ergodicity of the of the Rosy induction, uh, beca because one is. Uh, uh, um, I, I, no, no, GT, GT is a, this is acting on the on the on surfaces, yeah. oh, okay. and this implies ergodicity of the Rosy induction, and uh, as I have uh, ergodicity of Rosy induction, uh, I do this trick, I come back to a small simplex, infinitely often, uh, where the return matrix is positive, and when I have a positive matrix, uh, infinitely often, I apply a version of uh, Perron-Frobenius theorem. Yes. Do you think that 